Hey now, it's Sharon and I'm back to share another idea on how to reform the police. If you're new to the channel, I am a retired detective. I worked for 20 years for a Southeastern city in the US and I was also in the military. I share my experiences, perspectives, and opinions on how uh, we could possibly reform the police here in the United States. And that, with that being said, uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna share a funny story with you. A funny story. I got the call that a husband and wife, they were fighting, fussing, as the dispatch put it. So I pull up, it's a dead end, and I pull up, you're not supposed to pull up in front of the house, but I pull up and I can see all these stairs to get to the front of the house. So I'm looking, I'm looking for any signs of maybe the fight came outside. I look, so I go, I start to climb these stairs. As I climb the stairs, the front door is a little bit open. So as I'm walking, I'm trying to look in between the doors, see if I see anything. I push the door and of course I can't say um, police. I have to say police. So I'm saying police and I push the door and it's, a, it's, a, it's like a long corridor, different rooms on each side of the, the corridor. And I can see a light coming from what looks like maybe the kitchen. And I'm, I'm still yelling, uh, such and such police police and I see this lady she's at the sink washing dishes and I'm knocking and she's not paying me any mind so I walk into the house I'm being cautious I'm looking at the rooms and stuff and I walk to her and I said ma'am did you call the police and she's like he is in there he in there she she never turned around she was like he in there so I look to my left and I could see a room door light on door cracked and i could see a bed maybe i think it was a a nightstand and a lamp and i said ma'am what's going on she's still washing dishes and she is chucking the dishes like she is upset she's like he in there so i go i push the door open and i see this older gentleman sitting on the bed in his boxers with no shirt on shaking this pill bottle and I'm like, sir, what's, you know, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. And he's like, I'm going to use every last one of them. And I said, sir, okay, stop yelling, but tell me what's going on. She made me get them and I'm going to use every last one of them while he's shaking his pill bottle. As he's saying this, the woman that was washing this, she comes in and I'm tired and sick and tired of him crawling up on me and blah, blah, blah. And I said, what is going on? So I told her to stop talking because she didn't want to talk to me at the kitchen sink. So I said, sir, what's going on? I said, what is that in your hand? He said, this is Viagra and I'm going to use every last one of them. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then she's like, no, you're not. And they start arguing. So I, I separated them. And she's like, I'm tired of him crawling all over me. And then he comes back with, you made me get them. I said, sir, where did you get them? And he was like, you know, street, you know, the streets, da, da. I said, how many pills are in that bottle? He said 59 because he used, there was 60, but he used one. And oh, the wife was apparently tired because she made him get them so they're fussing about that because he said he's gonna use 59 of them all 59 of them and i said sir you got these off the street he said yeah they had dollar a piece and i got them and i'm gonna use every last one he was just going on i said sir first of all you can't take it if your wife don't want to he's like she my wife and you know he's old school they think they could i said no sir that's against the law <laughs> And, you know, he sat there and he's like, well, she made me get him. And he's still fussing about that. So I talked to the wife and I'm like, ma'am, you made him get Viagra off the street. And she was like, yeah, uh, such and such told us it worked. And now I'm just tired of him trying to do whatever you get it. And so it was funny to me, but I couldn't laugh at that moment. But I was like, look, OK, you guys, first of all, you call the police because something's going on. Did he put his hands on you? Did he touch you? She's like, no, but I'm just tired of him fussing at me. And he's talking about he going to use every last one of them. So I go back to him. I was like, sir, first of all, the law has changed with husbands and wives and intimacy. I said, you can't do it. If she says no, that, that's it. And I said, you need to be careful with those pills. You don't know what else could be in them. He said, well, they work so far. And I was like, sir, <laughs> the doctors don't even give you 59 pills like that. So he was like, well, I don't know. You know, I'm going to put him down, but we'll see. We'll see. And I said, you guys all right? And so the wife had to go to church meeting or something. She's like, well, I'm going to leave right now. 
And um, I'm going to call you back if I need you. <laughs> and so I left them to themselves. She did, her friend did walk in. They were going to church to do something. But that is hilarious. He got Viagra off the street. Somebody gave him 59 pills. Well, I'm sorry, 60. He only used one and the wife was like, I'm not having it anymore. She was like, I'm tired of that, which was hilarious to me. But I could not laugh at that moment. But yeah, I just wanted to share that little bit. A funny story. Um, take a look at our online store. The link is in the description. I created some notebooks, mugs uh, with our our business motto on it and logo. Uh, the book, like I said, my book is finished. It's just going through some things that I have to fix. Um, and that's all I want to share with you. I'll share the other ideas on how to reform the police next week. But as always, as is my tradition with you guys, you don't necessarily have to go through a thing to learn from it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.